And among those taking part in yesterday's Honolulu Marathon was comedian and performance artist Christina Wong. Yeah, as our Rick Kwan reports, while she barely managed to finish the race, her career is taking off. I've got like layers of sweat and sunscreen and sweat. This is awful. And I'm in paradise. Christina Wong is known for her sense of humor, but her first Honolulu Marathon proved to be no joke. Her friend Brian got her to walk it, and they finished in just under 11 hours. With her body sore and exhausted, she broke down in tears at the finish line. I have uh, this new weird tan line that's like here. I think I have bug bites. I lost my lip balm in the porta potty. Uh, I was urged to not retrieve it. A decade ago, the comedian first drew attention for her public pursuit of NBA star Jeremy Lin. I love you, and I won't take no for an answer. <laughs> Unable to work during the pandemic, she started sewing masks for those in need. It grew into a Facebook group which had hundreds of volunteers across the nation making hundreds of thousands of masks. Wong turned that experience into a when show called Sweatshop Overlord, which proved to be a hit. Who learned it you know, I'm making this jokey show in the pandemic to sort of chronicle what's happening and entertain the aunties while they're sewing masks at home. And New York Theatre Workshop invited me to premiere the show as part of their live in-person season as they sort of reopened to the public. And yes, the show became a finalist for the Pulitzer Prize. Um, I just got the Guggenheim Fellowship and uh, Doris Duke Artist Award. The prize money for being a Doris Duke Artist is $550,000, and you can spend it on anything you want. What was her reaction to the news? I mean, you just, I'm just screaming, a lot of profanity, a lot of confusion, and <laughs> just like complete disbelief. And you have to keep it a secret up until it's announced publicly. It's like, well, I always think of Doris Duke now as like the rich mother I never had because she left me a lot of money. She spent part of the money to come to Hawaii and visit Duke's former home, Shangri-La but for now has put most of it into a savings account. In March, Wong opened Sweatshop Overlord in San Francisco and would love to bring this show to Honolulu. But don't look for her to run another marathon here. Wait, let me see, I can show you my, does, does the audience want to see my feet? Is this a, no, okay. It's fun to tell people you did marathons, but it's, a, it's not fun to do them. This is torture. Rick Kwan, Island News. Pain.